Now there's this idea floating around that USTC can be repegged to a dollar. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a very difficult idea to comprehend, especially after watching it fall out. But even Doquan himself said that this stable coin idea, this stable coin experiment that we were running with Terra Luna Classic has failed. And I believe if Doquan doesn't think that he could repeg Terra Luna Classic and USTC, I don't know if anybody is going to be able to repeg USTC to a dollar using Terra Luna Classic or Luna or any other coin for that matter. So in this video, I want to go over a little bit of a discussion with some of these guys that are working with Doquan here and, and this entire idea that they're coming up with because the narrative right now is that Terra Luna Classic never did anything wrong. The USTC would have been completely fine if FTX and Alameda just stuck to their own, minded their own business, and, and didn't, I guess, commence this attack on the USTC peg. So let's discuss it. Of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least 6 free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange, at least one that's still around, you've got KuCoin and you've got Binance. They both let you buy, sell, short, trade, use leverage, and so on. And you can get Terra Luna Classic and USTC on there. So if you guys want to try and ride it up to a potential repeg or, you know, ride uh, USTC near a dollar, you can absolutely do so on both those exchanges. Please be careful, though. Not only is the entire cryptocurrency market on its head right now, but the centralized exchanges are in a very dangerous place. So if you guys have seen any of the information trending out there about Coinbase or USDT or USDC, it, it, it's very interesting surrounding stable coins right now because Coinbase is saying that US Tether is not even a stable coin. If you want a stable coin, we will allow you free of charge to trade your Tether for USDC, the stable coin that is supposedly collateralized one-to-one -one with U.S. dollars in cash or U.S. dollars in the form of short-term U.S. treasuries. Now, Coinbase, they, they co-founded USDC, and of course, they would have their reasoning for wanting you to go in and, and hold USDC on their platform. So we'll see what happens in regards to that, but they're starting to make people think that U.S. Tether, roughly a $65 billion market cap stablecoin, the largest one out there, is in trouble. Guys, if that fails, my goodness, I, I, I don't know where the cryptocurrency space is going to be if Tether fails. I don't know where the stablecoin space is going to be. I do know you're going to start hearing CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, U.S. Digital Dollar, government-backed U.S. Digital Dollar shoved down your throat every day if we lose the largest stablecoin in the world. Now, some of the things that are coming out of Do Kwan's corner right now, there's this notion that Luna would have failed anyway if Alameda, FTX, and affiliated partners used their clients' assets and positions to orchestrate an elaborate attack on this, then who cares, in some pockets. Which is true, right? Now, this guy is is a self-proclaimed perpetual optimist, if you go in and you look at his Twitter account there and his, and his profile, and, and he's really looking at the world like everybody's got your back. Everybody does have your back. They have your back with a knife pointed to it, and as soon as you turn it, they will stab you in the back. Take all your money, and, and especially if you are in competition with them. Guys, these, <laughs> these guys are not out to, to help build the world up in a better place. They are here to take their place, and they are here to make sure that they take as much money. Not make as much money. There's a difference. Take as much money as possible, and, and this guy is a, is a very perpetual optimist if he believes otherwise. So if you think there's a design flaw in something, you can try and help fix it. Black hat hacks are also illegal. So he's basically claiming here that if Alameda saw that there was a flaw between USTC, 
the stable coin from the Terra Luna Classic network and blockchain and ecosystem, instead of exploiting it to make billions of dollars, they should have said, hey, Terra Luna guys, it's a problem here. We see it. Instead of exploiting it and make a couple billion dollars, why don't you just go ahead and fix it? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. In a perfect world, maybe. But, dude, it, honestly, these guys probably got way too comfortable with their own work thought their work was flawless and invincible, and, and it resulted in Do Kwon saying, oops, we tried, we failed. So here's the thing, and he goes on to say, so it's cool that some people got to feel like Soros for a month or so, but it means the industry let two of the top 10 coins go to zero in days. Dramatically raises the risk premium of all activity in the entire space, which it does, man. The cryptocurrency space has been turned on its head since Terra Luna Classic collapsed and Terra Luna Classic failed. But here's the idea, and here's what we're left with. If Even if USTC continued to work and nobody exploited it when it had a couple billion dollar market cap, even if USTC was, was moving right along, if the world continued to, to build on it and build on it and build on it, it never would have fixed the issues that it had. And clearly, it had issues. You know, if another country comes out right now and decides to short the U.S. dollar, it's not going to tank the value of the U.S. dollar. I mean, it is unfortunately backed up by the U.S. basically armed forces. Uh, what else is backing the U.S. dollar's value right now? Nothing other than that. Any sovereign currency could could fluctuate in value. Absolutely. But it is is only as strong as that country is. Any stable coin that is algorithmically backed is only as good as the code that backs it. So if if any exploit would have caused this sort of divergence between USTC and the one dollar price point, and, and continued exploitation would further that peg. It never would have it never would have happened in the first place. It never would have been able to succeed. In the first place, which me leads me to believe that unless the Terra Rebels or unless, you know, Terra, Terra Luna team or Terraform Labs or any other developers for that matter are able to identify the problems that allowed the exploitation in the first place and foolproof them in a way that they cannot occur again, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, for any algorithmically fungible token to work or any chance of rebagging USTC to a dollar. That does not mean that it can't rise in value. It simply means that these algorithmically fungible stable coins could be essentially hacked, exploited, manipulated in a way that they just can't maintain their value. So I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on these algorithmically fungible stable coins or the ones that use code to try and peg them by minting and reminting and so on to a certain price point. Let us know down there. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. You're getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weevil, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.